Welcome back to Out of the Rough. My name is Fred Arnold, and I'm here with Jake Young. Jake Young is with American Family Funding, a mortgage professional. Yep. And Jake, I, uh, right now there's so much turmoil, turmoil in the real estate market. Interest rates are at all-time lows. Values have dropped quite, quite dramatically. And I want to ask you the simple question, what you're seeing out there. Why is now possibly one of the greatest times to buy a home? Yeah, Fred, that's a great point. There's been a lot of discussion out there over the last few years that owning a home it is probably possibly not the um, best financial tool to do at this point. From my research, uh, educating myself, reading stuff like the Wall Street Journal, Kipling's, I, I'm starting to see a trend where actually home ownership is coming back. And it, and it makes a great long-term investment to do. And here's well, the reason well, why, though. Tell me why. You know, interest rates are at all-time low. Right. I mean, they, you, you hit the nail on the, on the head right there. Um, with home prices decreasing over the last several years, now you're looking um, at a point where home values are back to where they were in the early 2000s. So here in Santa Clarita, you're looking at about home values of where they were in 2002, and some uh, distressed areas perhaps back as far as the early 1990s. Well, so, now, if, you know, if, you, if you were to at a supermarket, they had everything 40% off, people would be going in there in droves and right, buying, or right. buying clothing, or if you can buy a car at 40% off, that'd be huge. Right, so right now, that's what we're seeing. Everything's on sale right now, Fred, so home prices have fallen back to where they were about a decade ago, and you couple that with home prices with the historic low interest rates, and so to give you an example, rates are back in the mid 4.5% for a 30-year fix. So uh, with the low rates coupled with the low home prices, um, you're almost at a point where you can rent or own a house for about the same. Yes, I, w I was doing an analysis this morning for a client, and uh, $200,000, 300000 house, the payment was uh, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. Well, you can't rent for that. Right. I, yeah. I crunched the numbers before we came. If you were to buy your average uh, home in Santa Clarita, three hundred thousand dollar purchase price, and put ten percent down, the average first down, time buyer home, right? The average first time buyer, uh, and they're able to put ten percent down, they can get a rate of around, let's say, five percent, Fred, um, and a monthly payment of fifteen hundred dollars for the mortgage, and then with taxes and insurance, it's about nineteen hundred dollars. Well, rent for a three bedroom house in Santa Clarita is close to nineteen to two thousand dollars a month. Uh, not to mention the tax benefits of, of owning. Plus, it's a 30-year fix where you're paying down principal every right. month. So, so it, you're actually for savings. In right. It. Your savings, and eventually you're going to own that property, which down the road, if, if you have both long and short-term goals, um, owning a house and getting, when you're getting closer to retire as opposed to being at retirement age and having to pay rent is a big difference. Now, you're, you were mentioning to me earlier that if you have a 30-year fix, some one of these days you don't have to pay a mortgage payment because you pay it off. Right. Right, which is rent note never goes away. You're always making somebody else's payment for Yes, rent. yeah, and you're building wealth for other people. You think about all those that have built their wealth over the years. A lot of them have built their wealth over um, real estate. Right. Buying real estate and, and buy low, sell high, and right now we are low. Um, tell me more things about the advantages of purchasing a home right now. Um, purchasing a home with, with home low, the loan prices being low, um, coupled with the rates, uh, some of the other sizable advantages are you get the tax write-off from doing it. Correct. Renting, there is no tax incentive for doing it. Not to mention that you're you're taking a, a step in direction in life, that you're moving on with life, that you're coming from that renter phase that you have to abide by the landlord to now being able to get it into your, yeah. your own castle, so to speak, that you can paint the walls how you want, that you can take a step forward in your lo own life and create something that is yours, something that uh, has value to you and to your family. You know, my father once said, he said, grab some dirt, and he said, Fred, they can't take this away from you if you own a home. Right. And, and buy, buy real estate as soon as you can. I, I, I always remember that. Not only that, it's your own castle. Yeah. Whether it's big or small, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, whether it's got a big kitchen or big yard, whatever it is, it's yours. That's right. You can do with what you right. want. Um, so let's talk about five things to know um, in, in the time we have left, Jake, uh, to prepare to purchase a home. Someone's looking to buy their first home for three, three fifty, four hundred thousand okay. dollars $400,000. What do they need to prepare for? I, I think one of the first things you want to do is find a true real estate professional to work with, somebody that knows the local Santa Clarita market, somebody that knows uh, 
in depth about short sales, foreclosures, somebody who has training and designations in those areas that they're going to be able to be familiar with the local market, what, what the trends are, what home prices are doing. I'm a big fan of realtors, by the way. I think they, they do a great job showing you what's available. Right. And, yeah. and I think it's important that you um, interview and find the person that understands both your long and short term financial goals, whether that's going to be in the house, you know, to live in that house for five, six years before you uh, move up buyer. Somebody who understands your goals, somebody who's going to listen to what you um, want out of the house. So I think it's important you interview a few people, work with the true professional, get some referrals from, whether it's a CPA, an attorney, um, a friend, a co worker, find out who, right. who is competent, knows what they're doing. Now, can you refer out some realtors? That, that you've worked with? Yeah, in absolutely. Past? Absolutely. Okay. Now they go to meet with you because that's an important step. Yeah, I think the next process, if you're going to buy a home and now's the time to buy, is you want to be uh, pre approved by a lender. It's important to have a pre approval, which is a letter from a lender saying that they vouched for you, that they've reviewed your income documentation, all the paperwork that the bank's going to want and that they have uh, willing to lend you money on certain terms. So I think it's uh, vital that not only do you work with a true professional, but you go and uh, seek somebody who's a professional mortgage consultant, somebody like myself, who can help you get pre-approved for a home loan so that you know that uh, your iron cloud when you're out looking for a house is that you can get a, a loan to obtain that house. Now, when you're getting pre-approved, you pull their credit, right? Yes. And you verify their income. You, you go through that whole, yeah, that whole all the steps necessary. Yeah. You look at their income, you, as you're saying, you, you pull their credit report. So I think it's also important to know one of the five steps when you're buying a home, know what's on your credit report. Mm -hmm. If you have some deficiencies, some areas with a lower credit score, talk to your mortgage professional. He'll be able to give you ideas on how you can boost your credit score. Some are even short term things that you can do. For instance, just spreading out the amount of, of credit card debt to three or four different cards may boost your, your uh, credit score by a few points. So. Yeah. They'll know, they'll be able to guide you as far as how to uh, boost your credit score and get it up a little bit higher. But Good. it's it's important to know what's on your credit report. Good stuff. And it's important that you seek a mortgage professional such as yourself Yeah. Um, that understands what they're doing, that can go deep as far as verifying your income, give you suggestions on your credit, right. which, which I know Jake does, and uh, also help refer to you to a real estate professional. The one last thing that we talked about, and that is, in this market, you need to be patient. Yeah. Yes, patient, patience is key. Because the right deal is going to come up. It will. It's not about, I always say, it's not about the perfect deal, it's about the right deal. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and so, very critical. Jake, how can those watching this uh, uh, SCV TV or on the internet, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, very simple. My direct line, area code 661 755 8 Five five five. That's my cell phone. Rings right in my pocket. One more time. Six six one. Six six one seven five five eight five five five. Or uh, www.afflones.com. And email Jake. Jake at af afflones.com. Jake at afflones.com. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Fred. Great time to buy a house. Uh, we're going to jump to a quick break, but when we come back, we have Michael Crane with Smart Business Evolution, and we're going to talk about smart strategies behind implementing successful change in your organization.